Hi everyone, I'm here with the Oh So Inspired Collaboration, hosted by Call Me Crafty Al, who is Alicia. And this week, we were inspired by this uh, Split Coast Gallery, I guess it's a blog, um, I don't know, anyway, um, this image has sort of a, it's actually embossed, um, almost like a wood plank embossing. The leaf here is embossed. I don't know that the background paper is. And then sort of this orangey uh, paper in the background with some twine. It's on white cardstock. Looks like the inside has some of this same color paper. And I didn't have an oak leaf. Actually, it looks pretty simple. Like you cut out the the leaf, and then you use that leaf and emboss it here. So I didn't exactly do that. I I went off to do the same thing. So I made two cards. The first card, this paper is out of Stampin' Up um, wood textures, wood textures DSP designer series paper. This polka dotted paper is out of the In Color uh, 2018 to 20 designer series paper. And this paper is called Grapefruit Grove, as is the ink. Um, and what I used is actually um, a set from Stampin' Up! that's not available to you until September 5th, so I do apologize, but it will be then. It's called Falling for Leaves. It's this leaf here, although I did not stamp that. I, I did use this thankful. And I think I used this leaf here on the inside. But I did use a thinlet, Detailed Leaves Thinlet. I actually used two, two parts in here. And what I did is, if I can find them, um, I use these here. So first I just had done the outline and did it in the in the wood paper. You know, I cut out this. And then I thought it just looks too blah. So then I took the inner part and I cut it out of the grapefruit grove cardstock from Stampin' Up. And that is what I laid on top of here. I did bump this up and that's what gave me the texture. Instead of embossing that, I did that to give it texture and tie in the orange. Um, and then I had Grapefruit Grove Twine out of this. Now this um, is available. This is Nature's Twine 4 pack. Uh, it's item 146342 if anybody's interested at Stampin' Up. Uh, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so it came in these colors, this one being Grapefruit Grove. And I was going to go with this one, but I, I wanted more color on the card. And um, so I did that. I tied a little bow. I popped this up on Stampin' Up! Dimensional, Stampin' Dimensionals, I think they're called. And then I pulled out of my stash these little orange... Um, coppery orange sequins which were either from Dollar Tree or Walmart I can't remember but they're not expensive ones and um, the thankful is off the stamp set here too and I just stamped that in grapefruit grove as well um, so that is oh and then I, I layered it on white cardstock 110 pound white cardstock and then on Grapefruit Grove again. And I did make it open the way uh, the inspiration piece did. And then I just had this leftover strip of wood grain I put across the top and stamped a leaf down here. and left the inside blank because it already has a sentiment on the front. I just didn't, it was too bare down here to me, you know, because she had a longer leaf. I guess it took up more of the car. This one was up higher and I just needed something there. So I think that turned out pretty good. I was happy with that. And Grapefruit Grove, this orangey color, is not a color I gravitate towards. But I'm really happy with how that came out. So then I decided I wanted to make another one. 
but I wanted to do it differently and I used a different set um, and this is what I came up with and the set I used which I've been pushing for the month of August because it's only available through August 31st is blended seasons it's a two two part um, stamp set and stitch seasons framelits so this is what I use these falling leaves I stamped them twice in crumb cake which is a tan um, it's actually like this color and then I um, started I just buried them I'm started using my new um, stamp and blend markers some of them new and so the colors I used were light crumb cake light and dark um, mango melody I just got these today um, light and dark which one is this uh, Cajun craze no pumpkin pie light and grow uh, light and grow <laughs> light and dark old olive light and dark real red and light and dark um, Cajun craze and then of course the the um, crumb cake so again I use grapefruit grove ink which is in the in colors for 2018 to 20 at Stampin' Up if you're familiar with that anyway I tried my hand at blending a little bit oh and then I used the um, the one leaf that's in the Stitch Seasons framelits which is this right here and I cut it out actually four times um, three are on here and this one I overlaid over the color the other color leaves because I just thought it gave it a pop and gave it dimension in front of those leaves so I just have them tumbling down around the I just miss you and I kind of that it, I got a little dotted line under the eye and the part of the just I wasn't real happy with that but anyway so that I thought I did okay on the coloring not perfect <laughs> I tried to make it look like multi-tone on some of the leaves um, but I think it's pretty and then out of that same twine pack this time I used the the um, oh gosh what color is it anyway whatever that color is I think um, no oh my goodness I just went blank crumb cake I think it's crumb cake if not it's soft suede one of those two and I just tied a knot on it I didn't want a bow so just loosely tied there for a little extra something and I didn't want to give this one bling I don't know why so I, th I thought the leaves were bling enough and then on the inside all I did was add another leaf cut out down down here um, so I hope you were seeing that and the sentiment is I just miss you and that is out of the blended seasons as well so yeah that's that's it that's my two leaf projects we're coming to autumn soon enough and I must have used this oh yes I did I used this Stampin' Right um, also in grapefruit grove to go I edged around here around this leaf before I put it down and around the the panel piece like um, so yeah I think it came out pretty well I keep wanting to open it the other way <laughs> so that's that one and then this one is the more traditional opening this way so if you like what I made please give me a thumbs up I hope you will consider hopping along to all the other participants in the OSO oh Inspired Collaboration this August uh, 15th and um, we'll uh, see you again next month for another inspiration piece. Alright guys, hugs, love and peace, take care. Thank you everyone.